good day to one and all i am batma priya assistant professor of department csc in rmd engineering college today we are going to see a topic decision phases of supply chain under the subject supply chain management the decision phases falls into three categories depending on the frequency of each decision and the time frame during which a decision phase has an impact the first phase is supply chain strategy or design this is used to how to structure the supply chain over the next several years the second phase supply chain planning it is used to take decisions over the next quarter or year depending on the design the third phase supply chain operation concentrates on daily or weekly operational decisions now let us see about the first phase in detail the supply chain strategy or design during this phase a company decides how to structure the supply chain over the next several years it decides what the chain's configuration will be how the resources will be allocated and what processes each stage will perform the strategic decisions made by the companies include whether to outsource or perform a supply chain function in house the location and capacities of production and warehousing facilities the products to be manufactured or stored at various locations the modes of transportation to be made available and the type of information system to be utilized a firm must ensure that the supply chain configuration supports its strategic objectives and increases the supply chain surplus during this phase the supply chain design decisions are typically made for the long term and are expensive to alter on a short notice consequently when companies make these decision they must take into account uncertainty in anticipated market conditions over the next few years the next phase is supply chain planning the supply chain planning defines a set of policies which govern short term operations the time frame considered here is a quarter to a year the supply chain's configuration determined in the strategic phase is fixed this configuration establishes constraints within which planning must be done the goal of planning is to maximize the supply chain surplus that can be generated over the planning horizon given the constraints established during the design phase and it starts with a forecast of demand in the coming year the planning includes making decisions regarding which markets will be supplied from which locations the subcontracting of manufacturing the inventory policies to be followed and the timing and size of marketing and price promotions it must consider the demand uncertainty exchange rates and competition with other companies over the time horizon while during the planning decisions the next phase is supply chain operation the time horizon year is weekly or daily during this phase companies make decisions regarding individual customer orders at the operational level supply chain configuration is considered fixed and planning of policies are already defined the goal of supply chain operation is to handle incoming customer orders in the best possible manner during this phase firms allocate inventory or production to individual orders set a date that an order is to be filled generate pick list at a warehouse allocate an order to a particular shipping mode and shipment set delivery schedules of trucks and place replenishment orders the operational decisions are being made in short term there is less uncertainty about demand information the goal during the operation phase is to exploit the reduction of uncertainty and optimize the performance the design thus the design planning and operation of a supply chain 
have a strong impact on overall profitability and success. Thank you.